Hey, it's McCarthy. Jim McCarthy voiceovers here. This is kind of my other passion, cars. And uh, I'm a uh, Honda, somewhat of a Honda fanatic. Not like Mercedes fanatic. I'm a Mercedes fanatic. I, I like Honda too. And this is my alma mater, Crest Honda. And I'm here with Brig Stoll, and hopefully I'm getting in the frame. I'm going to get out of the frame, and I'm just going to talk to Brig. And we're going to go around the uh, 2016 Honda Civic. This is the EX Brig, right? Yes, this is the all-new redesigned 2016 Honda Civic. The EX version of this comes available in a two new powertrains. So you have a 2.0 liter available and a 1.5 liter turbo available for the first time and that's from Honda. EXL and up? That's EX model and above. So with you the have, turbo. With the turbo. Right so you on. have so you have the first two trim levels is LX, <laughs> new powertrain on it. It's a 2.0 liter, not a 1.8. Okay. So you're getting 174 horsepower, excuse me, 178 horsepower as opposed to 143. So they've increased the horsepower significantly. So now starting from the front end, we've got the uh, the HID lights, right? Mm -hmm. Well, this is new standard for the first time on a Civic standard LED daytime running lights. Right, so from afar, okay. it looks like the actual uh, lights have kind of like an eyeshadow underneath the, yeah. uh, the headlights. And those will, sharp look. those will be on when the car is on at all times. Okay. So they've obviously redesigned the front fascia, right. a very bold, aggressive stance. Mm -hmm. They've increased the width of the vehicle by two inches. I was going to ask they've about also, that. It looks yeah. like a bigger car. They've also increased the length of the vehicle by over an inch. Did they do anything with the construction of the hood? They, they've actually, from the former Civic, they've added the uh, the sound dampening material that you see in a lot of cars these days. Yes. Uh, looking around the engine, this one is the 1.5 turbo. You said right. This is the 2.0 liter. 2.0 liter. Port injected. Okay. Engine. Okay. Gotcha. So and just to just to correct myself from earlier, it's actually 158 horsepower right. up from 143. So gotcha. the gas mileage is significantly increased. You're going to get 31 city, 41 highway. Wow. Combined 37 now. Mm -hmm. So. Well, moving around to the side here, we're kind of we're looking at alloy wheels, right? Mm -hmm. Newly These designed are, alloy wheels. Sorry for the darkness; it is mm -hmm. uh, it is nighttime, and we're at the Crest Honda debut party, the mm -hmm. uh, the unveiling party yeah. for the 2016. We've just Honda launched it here. We've and got now look at this. Now, looking at the outside of the car, you see see these little things here? I stupid. Okay, there we go. That little button right there. Enables you to, uh, that's something that's a premium feature that you find on, on not a lot of cars. Yeah, you find, and that's the great thing about Honda, is they do a great job of letting you have a lot of those advanced features and amenities that you see on higher trim level vehicles, and even BMWs and Mercedes make them standard. So this being an EX model, EX models and above come with what's called smart key entry and push to start. So you simply walk up to the vehicle, put your hand behind the handle, it unlocks automatically, hop in, hit the start button, and you're off. Right on. So okay. looking around, we'll kind of... Go around and also look at the uh, look at the thickness of the doors, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, the doors. I mean, from the past Civic models, you would actually see them not they're not as 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 muscular as these doors are. So and it's kind of tough to see inside the car, obviously. But uh, do you have a light on your phone? Actually, I do. Yeah, illuminate illuminate that bad boy. Well, judging from here, looking on the side of the car, you got some auto up and down windows, power windows right there on the EX model. Both when both driver and passenger door driver auto and passenger. up down. Okay. You've got the Honda Lane watch right there, which is a camera in the passenger side mirror. So when you uh, put on your right turn signal, a little uh, the, the, uh, uh, an image of your your blind spot comes up, mm -hmm. so you don't uh, get into anybody's way. Mm -hmm. uh, keep on going. I'm trying to. Yeah. yeah. So. As you look inside, if you bring the camera over here, Jim, sure. look at a totally, totally redesigned dash. Mm -hmm. Very, again, very bold, very aggressive, sharp contoured lines, all brand new to the Honda Civic. And I want you to pan down here to the dash, right. to the console itself. This is all new design, if you see here. Also, one of the features that comes standard along with the backup camera Bluetooth capability is what's called brake hold now. That's a great feature. Yeah, great feature that you find on the HRV, you now find on the Civic, and that's standard. So. When I sold Mercedes, that was an awesome feature. That was basically, you, you you shove down on the brake while you're sitting at a stoplight or maybe in traffic, mm -hmm. and the car just holds itself while mm -hmm. you take, you, you can kind of relax. It's Absolutely, nice. and as soon as you hit the gas, the brake releases. So right. again, you've got a totally redesigned um, front 
dashboard here. Right. You also have available a new Garmin-based navigation system. So, awesome. So people in the past have used navigation system, find them cumbersome and hard to use. And it's You'll all be, touch, yeah, touch screen. Touch screen, absolutely. Also, it comes available with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Gotcha. So you can operate your audio apps and your iPhone apps and your apps off your phone directly off of this interface. Now this one's got the, I guess on the other EXL in North, they have the dual climate. Yes, you have you like <laughs> you have like also it. automatic air standard now. Right. Okay. And you also have dual climate control available on certain trim levels, but the automatic air is a great feature. Right. Again, right. Honda always sets the standard when it comes to a driver experience. Right. They make it very easy to drive and you hop in, you set your temperature on auto and it'll automatically cool or warm the cabin at the temperature that you want. Guys, this is a car that's uh, that's that's a game changer. This is something I would be certainly interested in, mm -hmm. uh, you know, especially if you're thinking about buying an Accord. Um, a Civic is a great model right now. Uh, nice little tight sport-like steering wheel with the uh, sport grip on top. Mm -hmm. uh, it's even got places right here for your, hand, for your hands, for your fingers. So. Right on, paddle shifters on mm -hmm. the upper levels or uh, you do have paddle shifters available on upper trim levels and gotcha. one of the best things about Honda is Honda is a racing company they were founded on racing principles so Ichiro Honda you, yeah absolutely so what you what you see here is a lot of racing principles and styles built into the most affordable compact sedan on the market right on but I love that, man. That's that's about time. Engine start stuff. Absolutely. You, can't, can't live without Absolutely. Those you also now. have the econ system always available on any Honda. Oh, you were talking before about uh, Honda sensing. That's yes. something I've, I've uh, I'm not sure if I know about. Yeah, that. Th this is new to Honda. So uh, in the past, uh, you have on the um, touring Accord, you have things like adaptive cruise control, okay. uh, lane departure warning, uh, forward collision warning. Well, Honda went a step further, and they've now offered what's called Honda sensing, which is a suite of safety features mm -hmm. that are offered. It's a total of about five that enable you to really have a lot more control and awareness of your surroundings when you're driving. Right. Um, a couple of things I'll mention is obviously the adaptive cruise control, which a lot of people That's are probably what I was familiar say, with. Yeah. This is your adaptive cruise control. You're driving down the road, you want the car to match what the speed of the car in front of you is doing. It uh, will brake itself? Absolutely. Okay. It, instead of you having to cancel the system or brake, it will actually break the vehicle for you and set a distance, a safe distance that you have control of. So you can actually set the distance closer or further away. When that vehicle gets out of the way, it speeds you back up to your set speed. That is, a, that's a great, a, mm -hmm. a great feature for long trips and such. I would assume Absolutely. this is lane. This is what's called okay. lane keeping assist. Okay. So what that's going to do, that's going to allow you to, if you're going over a certain speed, like on the highway, for instance, it's going to read the lines using this camera right here the lines on the road and if you go outside of your lane without using your blinker it'll actually assist you in steering you back into your lane right on mm -hmm. you also have of course collision mitigation okay. which is also offered in that so it'll actually break the vehicle giving you an auditory and visual warning along with actually breaking the vehicle to help um, keep you know, it in the event well in, keep, in the event that you're gonna hit the vehicle okay. ahead of you okay yeah so keeps so you in your lane and it breaks the vehicle for you essentially me, getting back to the lane keep assist mm -hmm. is that more uh, does it actually correct course correct? it actually will assist you it will not drive the car for you right you know we're not quite there yet but it will actually assist the steering wheel and move the car back into is this an lane. electrical electromechanical steering system absolutely okay. absolutely Electromechanical steering means that that is the precursor for a self-driving car eventually. Yes. Um, in some of the Mercedes models, like the S-Class, you get the driver assist package. That car will drive itself for a certain amount of time. Mm -hmm. Honda and most of our cars that we're seeing these days in the next five years are going to be autonomously driving cars, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. That is in the works where they actually all talk to each other. <laughs> it's, it's, I'm not kidding. That's a, That's... That's what, at least what they said when we did Mercedes training. But Honda definitely offering up. This is a crap ton of value. And this is an EX level. Okay? Yes, this is an EX model. So and this is obviously with the Honda Sensing available. Yeah. So for the first time, you get that Honda Sensing. I wouldn't have it any other way. You get the Honda Sensing package, those suite of safety features available on any trim level. Right. So now even on the, on the trim LX, levels, on the, mm -hmm. the Touring, what does that give you? Well, the Touring model is basically it is a brand new trim level to the Civic now in in the past with the Odyssey the Pilot the Accords you get that touring model as an option right. so what you get with the touring model is you get the 1.5 liter turbocharged engine okay it's direct injected that'll increase your horsepower to about 178 okay so significant amount of horsepower along with getting you one mile per gallon better than the 2.0 liter on the highway so you go to 42 miles per gallon on the highway correct okay. right on man and you also get the all new garmin based navigation system mm -hmm. on the touring model and you have navigation systems available on ex models and above as well right so. on 
Well, let me tell you something. I said that the training wasn't really out yet for the, the Civic. I would say Brig knows his stuff on this. And, uh, you know, I would say, you know, Brig or uh, the singing salesman are definitely the guys to come see here. So, I mean, yeah. Crest Honda is I don't the, sing, but... Uh, he doesn't sing. You know. He could, no, yeah. if you want. <laughs> and, and Brian, Brian over there. Him too. Uh, all my buddies. Singing's good for my good for my rapport. And you know, with the it's a larger car. Oh, yeah, it's important to note also that you also have a 1.2 more inches of legroom in the rear. Gotcha. So. Gotcha. So basically, yeah, even just, with the EX, you kind of get the different fabrics for the uh, the trim level. Yeah. On the totally LX. new interior design again from the ground up redesign <laughs> doesn't even do it justice. This is totally and again, brand guys, new. I don't know if you can see that, the thickness of the door, I just can't get over it. It's just a thick, yeah. robust, muscular Also door. a brand new, brandly new designed windshield, which helps really? cut down on your road noise, along with the fully dressed hood and trunk, with, which Honda's had on the Civic for a couple of years now. They added a new sound dampering windshield right. that helps cut down that wind noise. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's got it's got like a, slo a swooping roof design, mm -hmm. uh, almost like a coupe look right. to it. Right, exactly. Um, so, I mean, they compared it to uh, you know, I would have to, again, I'm, I'm talking Mercedes language here, but it's almost like a CLA or a CLS kind of look. Kind of a little bit of a compromised headroom getting in, but still just enough room for you to get in the back seat. You know, and everything. it's an interesting point you bring up. When, when, when people were actually doing reviews on this vehicle, you know, they didn't even consider this in the same class as the, the Corolla and the Sentra of right. the past. So, again, you got a fully dressed trunk. Just look at that trunk. Mm -hmm. Look how big that trunk is. That's uh, just to kind of give you an idea. I know it's yeah. dark. This is probably better to, off to be doing it in the, in the daylight. But it's a it's a pretty big, it's, pretty big space back there. It is a ton time. of space. Okay, you a got dual. You got the both uh, yeah, you seat pulled down. Yeah, the traditional 60-40 split. It's also important to note that when I close this here, LED date LED taillights standard on every trim level. So right much on. brighter taillights, and they last a whole lot longer. Yes, okay. and they're also a lot more instantaneous. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for safety's sake. Of course, you've always had the backup camera again. It's important to know Honda. Standard. Honda is the first company in the world to make a backup camera standard on every vehicle as of 2015. So, right on, man. I mean, you can't say enough about this. The days of you sacrificing style and performance to get an affordable compact sedan are long gone. Right this, on, this is what we call a home run. I think uh, we're going to have to come back and do an appropriate, like, full-on, full-production test drive. Oh, for sure. So, and for uh, sure. give this thing uh, in the daylight. Yes. So, thank you, sir. Thank you. All thank right, you, Jim. Man. And if you have any questions, uh, you can reach out to me or talk to Brig or talk to Brian or talk to the singing salesman. But, you know, Brig, Brig knows his stuff. Yeah, yeah man. So. Come, come down and see us. There We're you go. We're on our graph.